it looks good. I've been trying to do this video all day. This is the last, this final stitch ever. It's like nine o'clock, I don't have no watch, but I'm looking at my wrist. So hot and hurt, so hot and hurt. So hot is. Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. My name's Maya. So now that we are officially in the fall season, I have done a little bit of shopping and that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. I have a fall haul here and these are all um, clothing that I've got within the last couple weeks to a month. Some of them are actually older than a month old, but I haven't worn them yet. They're still all new and they are all fall appropriate. So nice, fun fall colors and even some springy colors as well. So I'll share that with you guys and spring. It's fall though. So yeah, I'm going to be sharing that with you guys today, and let's get right into it. So the first piece that I have here is a jacket that I got from Macy's. I first saw this jacket back in Macy's in like July, and I really kind of fell in love with it then. I thought it was something that I could wear. Um, it was in the women's section. It was actually in the mature women's section. This is a petite. I feel like in Macy's, if you ever go to the petite section, they're all for like older women. Like, is it only old women that are short? So yeah, it has an interesting lacy detail, which I thought was really nice and intricate. I pictured this, I pictured wearing this jacket with um, some jeans and like a, a plain simple t-shirt and letting this be the star of the show as you see it has a lot of details it's really pretty I just love it I can, it feels like something that I will wear it's a nice lightweight jacket that you can throw over a t-shirt or something if you get a little cold it's not really gonna keep you warm but the fact that the length of the sleeves will kind of keep your arms a little bit more covered so they're not just out there naked and bare this is the second item this is a skirt that I got from front row shop so I originally um, thought this skirt was really nice and cute because I thought that I thought it was gonna be a nice thick thicker material than it actually is when it came in the male is kind of sad about the fact that it was pretty thin, kind of like a jersey material. I don't even know if this is jersey. It's probably polyester, but um, yeah, so it's a thinner material than I had liked. When I tried it on, I didn't like it that much either, but I kind of stuck with it as you can't return final sale items in front row shop. But the more I kind of tried it on and played around with it, the more I liked it. I saw an outfit that someone else wore that I really liked that had a skirt like this. I was like, oh, I can wear that. Like, I can wear my skirt like that. So that's how I plan on wearing it with a jacket or like some kind of um, like an oversized t-shirt or something like that. It has two panels here in the front as you can see. It's a nice accru or cream color and it has a nice slit here. The slit. The slit is what threw me off because it's um, it's kind of wide and I have like bigger thighs and hips and all that good stuff. So when I tried it on it kind of burst out the wrong, the wrong areas but it's not too bad. It's not too noticeable. Um, it's a cool skirt and I will definitely be getting some wear out of it this fall. So this is the third piece. And this is a shirt, or a sweater, knit rather, that I got from the thrift store. It's a nice knit, nice, nice, well-constructed knit. A nice color, and it has fringe at the bottom. Look at that. Wind chimes, wind chimes. I really love this piece because I feel like it's something that you can get a lot of wear out of the fall. It's a nice neutral. You can wear this pretty much anything, with anything, and I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. The next piece here is something that I also got from Front Row Shop. I bought five items from Front Row Shop. They were all on sale, I believe. And this is one of the items I got. Now this skirt, on the other hand, I love this skirt. This has the same kind of um, crisscross or asymmetrical um, paneling as the other skirt. It also has a zipper, which I just kind of noticed. Actually, I didn't just notice that. I tried this skirt on, it does have a zipper. And it has nice paneling detail, golden stripes along the sides that are diagonal, and it has some that are straight down the back as well. So I used to like skirts a lot more when I was in high school and I was a little bit smaller because it was just easier to wear them. Now that I have like a little bit more butt and thighs, like skirts I don't really get along with too much unless they're pencil skirts or form fitting. But this one's nice because it's not, I think because I ordered a size up, I got a medium. Yeah, I got a medium, which is probably the size I wear. I'm going to order it a size up so it fits better and it's more comfortable to wear. And the next piece that I have is a slip dress that I got from the thrift store. Like, as you can see, there might be like a theme in this haul. I got a few items from the thrift store. I got a few items in this haul from the thrift store and this is one of them. I love this dress. Like, I was on a hunt for slip dresses and I wasn't about to spend more than like $10. On a, on a slip dress because I know they're like super expensive right now because they're in and there's some really nice ones This is not all this is obviously not silk and if you're gonna get a real silk slip dress Then of course they're gonna be expensive, but I wasn't looking for all that I just wanted something that will satisfy the trend and get the job done and this is what I found the overall color in this dress is camel and it has a little bit of uh, darker colors, blacks and browns mixed in with it. It has a slit on the side. Because I'm short, um, it's, it's not really that bad because like the slit, the slit doesn't fall in a bad place. Imagine I'm gonna wear it with um, a, a sweater underneath. Um, like a turtleneck would be really nice, or like one of those shirts with bell sleeves would be also pretty nice and cool. So yeah, this is just one of the trends that's in that was in for the spring and the summer and not fall because I'm taking it to fall. And this is something that I will be wearing this fall. I love this dress. The next item that I have is this dress here. This is from H&M. 
This is a golden color dress, and I imagine it'd be nice for fall as it has these nice, interesting bell sleeves that's in right now. I like sleeves like this, even if it's not a trend. I like. I really do. The 70s is one of my favorite um, time frames for fashion time frames. One of my favorite periods for fashion. I really love the bell bottoms and the, the different cuts and the patterns. I love color. I love like clothing with a lot of color and different patterns and textures and all that stuff. That's why I love the 70s because they had all that good stuff going on. It was $10. Like it's, this is a rolling theme in this haul. Everything's like $10 or under. I think that's a lie. Everything's not $10 or under, but a few things are $10 or under, and this is $10 or under. It looks like someone took a bleach, um, took a paintbrush with bleach and just kind of, you know, specked at it and that's gave it this really cool um, pattern just easy throw on don't have to think about it too much just put it on and go about your day next is this beautiful romper that I got from my favorite website which is ASOS I love ASOS I can order my entire wardrobe most of my wardrobe is from ASOS and this is one of the pieces it's a nice um, going out piece I, I, I buy things um, and have no where to wear them I do it all the time so this is one of the pieces that I have bought and I have nowhere to wear it to this is a nice hefty piece that I'll get a lot of wear out of whenever I'm going out rumpers and jumpsuits whatever you want to call them those are like my favorite cut of clothing to wear I can wear a rumper or a jumpsuit all day every day that's my favorite type of clothing to wear and this is one of the pieces that I had to order when I saw it even though it's kind of pricey it's, it is actual suede so um it's nice quality nice material that's why I love ASOS they have a good range of um, clothing from like really inexpensive things to expensive things designer things a bunch of good things on the ASOS so yeah this is one of the pieces that I ordered that I'll be wearing this fall am I showing it correctly so that's bottom and I'm gonna, I'm, I can't. <laughs> this, this is the legs. I had to get it altered because it was too long. It was too long for me, I'm sure, like I said, I'm petite. So I had to get it altered so that it fit better. And I will be doing, I will show you what it looks like in a cutaway clip also. So here, this is another great item that I got. These are from Urban Outfitters. This was in the sale, Urban Outfitters sale. Um, nice tweed pants, I really love them. I thought they were cool. I love the cut, 70s bell bottoms. That's the cut of these pants. They're actually a little short on me, which is crazy. Like I said, I'm short, I'm petite, so I thought they would fit just fine. But I had to get them altered because these pants have a weird fit. Like they're not, they're not, they don't have any stretch in them at all. So like the, the waistband stretches just enough to kind of sit in place, but it doesn't stretch enough to get over my hips. So I had to get it altered so that um, I could put it on. I got a zipper put in the side seam here, which makes it a lot easier to get in and out of. And yeah, it's just really nice pants. I can wear for fall. I can wear to an interview. I can wear to a meeting, whatever. Just nice pants to have in your closet. A nice piece to have in your closet. And they were on sale from Urban Outfitters. Woo! -hoo! So yeah, that's that. Let's see. Okay, next up, I have a coat that I got from my favorite website, which is better known as ASOS. Um, this is a nice shirling coat. I don't know if it's real shirling or not. I don't really know if it's real. Where, where's the tag? This is from ASOS, right? This is from ASOS. Oh, it's reversible, so there is no tag. I've been looking for a piece like this for a long time. Um, this was on sale, so I had to get it, and it's right up my alley. This is a really just, just a nice piece to have in your wardrobe. A nice, nice um, hefty jacket to keep you warm. And one of my favorite colors, which is gray. I love to wear gray. I can wear gray all day. It's kind of cool because it has like a more of a greenish tone to it, so which makes it a little bit different than your average bob standard gray in my opinion in my opinion so yeah that's this jacket and i really like it and it's reversible which is really cool that's why there's no tag in it you can wear it on this side the shirling side or you can wear it on the side with the suede 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 at the suede ish material and the next item that i have is this skirt that i also got from front row shop this is one of the pieces that i ordered actually i may have placed two orders so this is a part of the second order that i placed to front row shop i had this skirt in two colors might as well show it to you show them both to you now i loved it so much that i had to get it in both colors so i got it in this color first and then i ordered it went back and got this color i still like this one better so i've heard people say in the past that i like this so much i got it in both colors and i never used to feel like that until i got older and i really started to like see what they're saying like if, if you really do like something you kind of want to have it in multiple colors you can wear it again without wearing the same exact piece again if that makes sense so it's a fishtail shaped skirt and i loved it so much that i got it in the gray now the, i've got them in different sizes i think this is a small and this is a medium i think or something like that so the small fits closer to how i would like it to fit and the medium's a little bit bigger but they're both cute and i wore them both it's a really nice cross stitch knitted into the skirt which i love and i just love it it's like velvet it has a nice shine to it you can dress it up, you can dress it down. I'll probably wear this with tennis shoes and like a sweater, a t-shirt, a hoodie, that kind of thing. But it's something that I feel like I will wear a lot and I really love this color and like I told you I love gray so I had to get it in gray. Now onto the star. 
On to the star of the show. Let's not get anything on these pants. These are rag and bone pants that I got from Marshalls. Guys, I love Marshalls. Um, really nice pants. These have to be real, so they are real silk. They're just, they're just really nice. When I ordered, when I um, tried them on in the store, they didn't fit. I, I get things altered all the time because I'm short and I like things to fit correctly. So I bought these pants. So no, I tried all these pants in the store and they were like, they didn't fit. And I was like, no, they fit my hips, but they were too loose at the waist. That's the problem I always have. So um, I bought them because I was like, you know what, these are rag and bone pants. I'm not gonna find these again at my Marshalls anytime soon. I should just go ahead and buy them. They're just a nice pair of trousers to have in your wardrobe and they're silk and they're rag and bone, so why not? The way they fit on me, the, the panel would kind of just like, it just flapped in a, it just it looked very unflattering. It was just flapped in a weird way. And I was like, you know, I had to get that fixed. So long story short, he fixed it. It looks good and they don't look, Honestly, they looked a little bit better before I got them fixed, but they don't look bad and I will wear them still. If you think they fit weird or they look weird, let me know down in the comment section um, just to have someone else's perspective. I think they look, I think they look all right, but um, yeah, the rag and bone, I had to buy them just for that reason, honestly. So yeah, and moving on, this is another coat that I got for the fall and winter season and this is from the thrift store. Who doesn't love a thrift store? Like you find, like it's the funny thing is I didn't used to like thrifting. It just seemed like so much work, and it is so much work. But when you find something good and for a good price, you're just so excited, so over the moon, so thrilled with yourself for having put up the good fight. It's in this really heavy, really hefty coat. Has some cool fur on it, and I washed it already, and it just it stayed in place. So obviously it's not real fur, which is fine, which is a good thing. This is an oversized coat. It doesn't fit me snug and tight, which is fine. Um, it's a coat, so it doesn't have to be like all snug to your body. You can, you're gonna wear layers when it gets that coat anyway. So yeah, I just liked it. I thought it was a nice piece. It has some it buttons and it zips, and it's just it was it was just a good find at the thrift store, so I couldn't pass it up. Moving along into the greens, I only have one green item, but I like I actually like green is one of my favorite colors to wear. Also, it looks really good on my skin tone. I find. So yeah, these are a pair of pants that I got from the Urban Outfitters sale as well. I got in the Urban Outfitters sale as well. Nice hunter, army green, whatever you want to call it, army fatigue green. They're really wrinkled right now because I have worn these once and I love these pants. I wore them to work actually. So I wore, I wore them once and uh, right now they're super wrinkled. But I love them. They're really nice. I need, they need to get steaming, but they fit really good. I like these pants because they have good fit. I have, like I said, I have a small waist and my hips and thighs are a little bit bigger. So pants like this are really, really flattering on my body shape, body type. I love pants that are like tighter here, just kind of flow out, flare out, they look really good on my shape. So um, yeah, I had to get them, they're really cool and they are a good color and they're good for fall. I also got these pants with a similar shape from the Urban Outfitter sale. They were, I don't remember the exact price, if I, exact price, if I find it, if I find the price for all these items, of course I'll link it down below. These are a pair of, kind of they kind of remind me of like workers pants, like they just look like true workers pants, I don't know why or what makes me think of that. I think it's the blue with the white stripes and the fact that this has this like um, sailor's cording drawstring thing. Yeah, so anyway, they're the same, same shape pretty much as the other ones. They're fit at the waist and they're, they're flowy underneath the waist. And um, yeah, it's nice pants. I can wear them to a lot of different things, a lot of different ways. Really, you could dress them up or dress them down, maybe with a pair of heels. I don't know if that's how I will wear them. I've, I have worn them once very basic just like with a white t-shirt nothing special but they're nice pants and I like them and I will be wearing them <laughs> so another item from the thrift store this is a what are these things called a vest I think they're called vests right yeah I think, I think these are called vests so it's a sleeveless vest and it has a turtleneck blue nice color it's one of those things where if you don't have anything to wear you can throw this on with some jeans and a jacket and look cute and cool and casual and it's just it's just a good piece to find another piece that I got from front row shop this says fake because it is a fake this is probably a knockoff of somebody's design I don't know I'm sorry if it is but I liked it I thought it was cute and it's something that I would wear it says fake on the front in these fuzzy furry letters the A is upside down, which makes it look more edgy and cool. I really like hoodies um, and, and uh, sweatshirts, like my favorite thing to wear in the fall and winter. Like, cause they're just, it's funny because I didn't used to like graphics. Um, I didn't used to like graphic t-shirts or graphic um, items at all. I mean, I, I always like different patterns and textures and colors and things like that. But I never liked items that had graphics that said things. It just was always like corny and cheesy in my opinion. But I'm getting back into that for now for some reason and I really like this piece. I think I will wear it a lot. It's cute, it's cash, it's blue, it's so my style. Last clothing item, but not least, 
This is a coat that I got from Front Row Shop. I told you guys I placed a, placed a pretty big order from there. This is one of the items that I got. This is velveteen as well as you can see. As I told you guys, I love different patterns, textures, and colors. So that's why I got this because it's velvet and it's cool. And this is like this is just a cool piece to have in your wardrobe. Something that if you don't feel like getting dressed, but you have to go somewhere and you just want to look somewhere decent, you put on some jeans, a t-shirt, this coat. I don't know what else, and it, you look cool. It's a cool jacket to have in your wardrobe. I liked it. I thought I would wear it a lot. Or not, maybe not a lot, but I knew I, knew I would wear it because I like velvet and I like different textures and patterns and colors. So I got it. Yeah, that's that. This is a hat that I got from ASOS in the men's department. It's a cute pink hat. It's a, like a washed out bleach kind of look to it. I thought it was nice. Something. It's just good to have baseball caps because I don't feel like doing my hair sometimes. I chill a lot of the time. Then I put my hair in a bun. Throw on the hat. If you want to put some makeup on, do that. If you don't want to put any makeup on, be incognito. No. Be incognito. So yeah, this is just a cute hat that I got that I liked and I thought I would wear it a lot. Now, moving on to shoes. I have three pairs of shoes that I ordered. Two of them are from Zara and the other pair are just Adidas. I got from DSW. This first pair are a pair of... I don't know how you, how you describe these. They're so cute though. Like, they're so my style. They're from the Truffaluk. Truffaluk brand, which is all Truffaluk. The way they showed them on the model online was kind of like this, and then you can kind of wear them like mules almost. You can kind of just like slip your foot, which is kind of cool. Like, usually when you wear shoes like that, it looks stupid. Like, you know, your feet hurt or they're too small or whatever the issue may be. It just doesn't look right. But these shoes are made just for that. So they're made so you can wear them as slides. Slide your foot in and kind of wear like that. Or you can wear it where the back portion covers up your ankle and your heel. These are suede shoes that I got from Zara. Really cute, nice. You can wear these with socks. You can wear these without socks. You can wear these with pants. You can wear them without pants. <laughs> Just cute shoes that I got. And I like them. I like it like that I like. Moving on to the next pair of shoes. These are also from Zara. So, um, Melissa, I believe. Melissa from the Fashion Citizen wears these, and I love these shoes. I had to get them, they're so cute. I believe it's Melissa, I'm sorry if it's not, if it's Stephanie. I'm pretty sure it's Melissa, Mel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, she has these, and I love them. I thought they were so cute. I've wanted them for a while, and I just kind of fit the bill the other day when I made an order on, on Zara. I got these shoes and some summery items, which I'm not gonna show because summer's over. <gasps> cute shoes, they lace up. You can lace them up along your leg, or you can kind of just, you know, kind of go around your ankle and keep them there. Just really cute basic shoes that you can wear with a lot of different things. Zara has really nice shoes and they're good quality shoes so I got these and I will be wearing them a lot. They have a little cute heel so it's not going to be uncomfortable. You can wear these day and night, you know, whenever you want to, however you want to. That's what they're for. And last but not least, these are a pair of trainers. I'm American, we don't call them trainers. A pair of tennis shoes or sneakers, whatever you want to call them, that I got from DSW. They are Adidas. Okay, so they are Adidas Neo Comfort Footbed, that's what they say, in the inside. This is a really nice pair of shoes, nice pair of tennis shoes that I will wear a lot. These are year-round tennis shoes, assuming I don't get them busted and messed up. I got them on sale, not really on sale, they were full price, but I had a coupon, so they were only 30 bucks. I'm a bargain shopper, you guys. Like, I, like, I spend money if I really, really want it, but if I can find something on sale, I'm going to get it on sale, best believe. So yeah, that's the end of this haul. I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw. If you have any questions or comments, um, leave those down below in the comment section. Let's get a discussion going. I like to talk to some of you guys, see who's out there, see who's watching my videos. Um, I'm trying to grow my following. I'm trying to also become more consistent with uploading. I was supposed to upload this video on Sunday, and it's not going to happen. I'm really sad. Like I was trying, to, I was trying to record this video all day, but things weren't working. I had to go get this. I had to go get that. I had to go get a tension rod to hang up these curtains. It was just too much. So yeah, finally, I'm recording it now at like 10 o'clock at night. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions at all, leave those down below in the comment section. Let's start talking. Let's meet each other. Let's introduce each other. Let's introduce ourselves to each other. Let's become familiar. Let's become friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you watching and thank you for your time, guys. Bye for now.